Uh, hello folks, uh, Richard Fontenay here and welcome to another uh, Fontenay magazine exploration. Uh, today's topic, uh, let's uh, turn procrastination upside down. One of the uh, biggest time wasters uh, facing people these days is uh, procrastination. You know, uh, someday I'm going to write a book or someday I'm going to start a business or uh, someday I'm, I'm going to uh, do my business plan uh, or someday I'm going to lose weight or develop an exercise room or, <laughs> or you fill in the blanks. Uh, you know, but someday never comes. Uh, we don't fulfill our goals and our tasks or we leave them to the last minute and uh, then we rush around uh, trying to get them done and in the process, uh, we're going to forget something uh, that's pretty important that we should be doing. Uh, and sometimes we wake up in the middle of the night and say, damn, I forgot to do such and such. Uh, you know, procrastination can drain our energy, uh, can cause sleepless nights, uh, increase our anxiety, build frustration, uh, miss deadlines, uh, forget tasks. Uh, leave goals unfulfilled, keep, uh, keep us off focus, and uh, really amplify our levels of stress. But, you know, I, I don't know whether any of this sounds familiar with, uh, to this, <laughs> if any of this sounds familiar to you, uh, but, uh, you know, we can really find ways to overcome uh, the procrastination habit. And so, uh, how do we do this? Well, first we need to ask ourselves, why are we procrastinating? Is the problem so big uh, that we can't handle it? Uh, is it fear that's holding us back? Uh, and uh, fear of what people might say, for instance. Is the issue you don't know how to do it? Or do you have a relationship problem that blocks you from uh, dealing with it? Well, there are solutions to uh, to each of these um, and uh, can get us back on track. First, is the problem so big uh, that uh, you can't deal with it? Well, what we do with a big problem is break it down into smaller steps. For instance, if you have a week to do something, uh, spread, it, spread it over the five, uh, five days or six days and and start on Monday and get it done by Friday or Saturday. Then it's then it's done. Uh, big pro big uh, projects, for instance, always freeze us because they're so big and they're and they are um, uh, uh, they they in inhibit us from moving forward. But it needn't be that way. Uh, no matter how big the problem is, all we need to do is break it down into action steps and uh, put it in our calendar. Uh, one step at a time and, and work at it uh, one day at a time or one hour at a time. And uh, the, big, uh, the big project that's been freezing us is uh, no longer uh, a problem for us. You know, staring at a blank page or, or a computer uh, won't really help us. Now, if it's a task uh, that, uh, that's causing uh, you to procrastinate, put it on your task list and uh, do it first thing in the morning. Make it a priority um, uh, so that you can get it done. Now, when we, when we make, uh, make a task a priority for first thing in the morning and, uh, and actually <laughs> get it done, we no longer need to have that niggly sort of thing that's going on in the back of our head saying, um, hey, you got to do this. Uh, when are you going to do it? Um, uh, you know uh, you have to do it, so uh, let's get on with it. Secondly, is, is fear holding you back? Um, the fear that uh, you might be concerned about what other people might say. Well, one of the things that we really have to uh, question ourselves is, is that uh, we have to watch that, uh, that we're not putting our, uh, our pride and our ego in the way of progress. Um, fear can also lead to what is called uh, procrastination paralysis. Uh, we let it block us and worry needlessly. 
And so when psychological fear keeps us from uh, doing something, the question we really need to ask ourselves is, what really will happen if I proceed? Uh, or put it another way, what's the biggest risk that I uh, will face? Uh, when you start questioning yourselves about your fear and trying to find out the reason why you're fearing, uh, you're really getting at the source of fear. You're, you're meeting it head on and finding a way to get around it, to get over it, to get through it. You know, uh, sometimes uh, fear is more anxiety provoking than the, the procrastination uh, uh, itself. Uh, we often say that fear is, uh, is the biggest mouse in the room. Even the elephant is, is afraid of uh, the smallest of creatures. So don't let the, uh, the little things hold you back. Uh, when fear uh, paralyzes you, get to the source of your fear. Uh, talk to a coach, a mentor, someone you trust, and move past it. Again, uh, one step at a time. Now, the third issue that causes pro uh, procrastination relates to our knowledge. Uh, we just don't know how to complete the task or the problem or the, uh, uh, or the project. Um, now, this is much easier to deal with than we might think. Uh, fundamentally, we're, we're dealing with a skill deficiency. And uh, there are several ways to, uh, to resolve this one. Uh, we can ask someone to help us. Uh, we can take a course in the area where you feel uh, you are lacking. Um, and, th and there are care courses uh, for just about anything these days and that you can find on, uh, on Google. Um, on YouTube uh, or, uh, or a, a, a course uh, that you want to take at, uh, at uh, online or you can take one of our courses and I will leave a, a link below if, if that may be of interest to you. Um, you know what we are doing here is really taking responsibility for finding solutions and not giving in to the uh, procrastination game. Now, the fourth concern that may lead, <laughs> that may lead us to procrastination relates to um, a relationship issue. Uh, now, procrastination that butts up against a relationship problem uh, usually has a number of complicated factors, probably too many that we can deal with here in, in this uh, presentation. However, uh, there are uh, certain uh, common things that uh, we can do. For instance, uh, we can take some quiet time to understand the source of, uh, of the relationship uh, issue or the relationship difficulty we're having with, the, uh, with an individual. And in doing so, we may find that uh, we are actually the ones uh, who are causing uh, the, uh, the problem and not the other person. Uh, we can talk honestly with the with the other person about uh, the concerns that we have uh, and uh, uh, try to resolve it that way. Uh, or we can talk it over first with a trusted friend, uh, uh, maybe a, a human resource professional, uh, a mentor, a coach, a counselor, before approaching the other person. Or finally, we can seek uh, third-party intervention someone who will help both of both parties uh, come to grips with uh, that relationship uh, problem. So in conclusion, uh, there are several reasons why we uh, may find that we're procrastinating, ranging from the problem is too big, to fear, to a skill gap, to relationship uh, issue. And now there are solutions for each of those. Uh, if we take the time to uncover why uh, uh, why it is uh, that we are procrastinating or what is what is it that is holding us back from proceeding. Uh, if you find the source, uh, you will find the solution. And a solution is much better than the weight of procrastination. Now, if time management is something you are concerned about, uh, let me know in the... Uh, uh, comments below and uh, maybe we can do something about that or I can do another um, another video relating uh, to your particular concern. 
In the meantime, stay safe, keep well, and uh, continue becoming the uh, best version of yourself. Uh, talk uh, with you again next time. Oh, and by the way, uh, uh, please subscribe to this channel for more explorations from, from the magazine. Uh, you'll find the link below. So now, keep well, keep safe, and keep healthy. Bye for now.